Not enough babies are being born in the United States. That's according to a new study by the CDC that says if we continue at this rate, we might not be able to replace our current population. Births to mothers between the ages of 15 and 44 have dropped by 2% in the last few years. So joining us now to talk about what is going on, fertility specialist Dr. Courtney Marsh from the University of Kansas Health System. Hi, Dr. Marsh. Hello, thank you so much for having me. Uh, hi, okay, so talk to me a little bit about why we're seeing this. What is going on? Well, I know that 2% does not sound like a huge decrease in the last year, but it's actually a big number of decreased births. And it sounds a little scary, but I think what's happening is actually good. So one of the key points here is that teen pregnancies are down 7%, which is what we want to see. We want to see that people who are wanting to have children have children when they want them. I, but here's the thing is that, doctor, I see a lot of my friends are dealing with the fertility issue. And, and I get that a lot of my friends are probably on the older end of becoming first time moms. But is that also a contributing factor to why these percentages of births are down? Absolutely. So women are, in general, waiting longer to have children, which is due to economic success and jobs, which is great. Um, and fertility services have actually increased to accommodate this shift. So we've seen a doubling in fertility services over the last 10 years. So this is definitely a trend. Okay, so let's talk about the other factors that are going into, I mean, of course, having teenage births going down is probably a very good thing. But um, I would imagine there are some other things happening, perhaps in the environment, that are causing some women to not be able to conceive. Yeah, and so the environmental issues are complex, and we don't have all the answers to that yet, but there's a lot of research going on from plastics in the water bottles, decreasing sperm counts, to air quality. This is definitely a hot topic and something that we should be concerned about. All right. And, and what I mean, what can you do? So I'm, I'm thinking, too, if people are watching right now and they're trying uh, women are trying to get pregnant, you know, they're trying to have babies um, and it's just not happening. So I, I know through my friends that have gone through this, it is a it is a heartbreaking scenario to have to go through. So what would you suggest given this new research? Absolutely. So first thing is, if you're a young professional, think about freezing your eggs. It's something that's not as bad as you think. Um, if you're older and trying to get pregnant, see a specialist. Again, it's not as bad as you may think, and we have a lot of technology to help you out, and we're on your side. Okay. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, for, the CDC also had some interesting numbers about uh, the breakdown of race um, and how that plays into the decreased fertility as well. Yes, yeah, so uh, race is also a contributing factor, and we see that uh, births to older women, I say older, but I don't mean that, I mean the 30 to 40 range, um, they have increased for the Caucasian, the white population, but actually for Hispanic and for black women, um, they don't see the same increase that we see in the white population, and that could be due to uh, problems with access to care. So we really need to make sure all women can access fertility services. Well, Dr. Marsh, we appreciate your time on this very important subject. And of course, you know, fertility is such a, a really, I mean, and I'm sure fertility specialists are, like you are, are having a booming business right now because people are trying so hard to have babies. Absolutely. We love what we do and we're here to help. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it.